guy just had an open heart operation. We had some quarrels in old times. He was the market leader. We were a young company. It's always a bit tricky. But we actually never met. And he actually liked the guy. He thought a lot about me. He thought, thought about a lot of things the same like me. He had got a different approach, but that's OK. So give a big hand for Time for Leeuwijk. I'm going to take you back 20 years. I was 25 then, and out of 500 applicants, I was uh, elected to go to Paris and to apply for a job with uh, a big, major uh, oil company. And Paris was incredibly hip at the time. I mean, in Holland, we had coffee with sugar and without sugar, and that's it. And in Paris, I discovered espresso, ristretto, cappuccino, longo, americano, you name it. Amazing place. In Paris, it was so hip, and this is a male story, so that's why I can tell it here. The toilets were completely different. In Holland, we had these, those white urinoirs. In Paris, in Café Cost, the toilet was a big glass wall, and there was water coming over it, there was lights behind it, and you could pee in the waterfall. And that feels great. <laughs> You're a man, you know what I talk about. In Pizzeria La Grotte, it was really a cave, and you had to bend over, and you could pee in the stream. And there were even little goldfish swimming in the stream. <laughs> and then if you look carefully, you saw they were fake. But still, it was an, an amazing experience. And after my second interview, all dressed up, you know, I had one suit and I was wearing the suit. I went on La Défense to this Grand Café. I went to the toilet, and there they had something special too. They had this, this like four meters long copper trough, and there was white stones in it, and there were plants growing. And I was doing my thing, like we men do our thing. And then this middle-aged guy walks in like my age right now. Middle-aged guy walks in, stands next to me, goes like this, and starts washing his hands. <laughs> and he looks at me, and I look at him. <laughs> and we talked yesterday about your paradigm shifting, like this. A paradigm shifts very quickly. But just before my paradigm shifted from what an asshole to I'm, I'm wrong here, you think what an asshole. Because we all have a paradigm and we hate it to be changed. We even are able to kill if somebody wants to change our paradigm, which happened to the first two guys that said that the world was round. So I'm going to try and shift your paradigm. Pickup artists suck. Why do I think so? If you just take the word, pick up, artist. What does it mean to pick up? I mean, you pick up an object. It doesn't show any respect to the woman. If you pick up a girl, she has no say at all in it. And I know we have techniques now that can almost bring us to the point that she has no say at all in it. But that's an enormous lack of respect. Thank you. Actually, I'm hoping you're all getting angry at me. So do me a favor, don't give me any applause on this part. <laughs> the, art, the artist part is even worse. Because the pickup part says you don't respect women. The artist part means that you need tricks and techniques and whatever you call them to pick up women. Yeah? So it's not you, it's the technique. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even worse because you guys are not pickup artists, the pickup artists are up here. Most of you guys are pickup artist imitators. I mean, there's artists here that thought a lot about it. They explain tricks. 
and you try to use them.